Hi, welcome to the new video of academic series. Today we will be discussing the aggregate planning. The point we are going to cover here are what is aggregate planning? What information is required to produce an aggregate plan? What are the trade-offs that must be made to create an optimal aggregated plan? So let's start. If there are no cost of production capacity and there is no lead time, then there is no need to plan for the anticipated demand because whatever is being asked by the customer will be delivered instantly. In real world, both of them cost of production capacity and lead time are not zero. So we need to plan for anticipated demand. So should a company open a large plant to meet the peak of demand or it should open a small plant and bear the cost of holding inventory during the slow period in anticipation of demand. These type of questions can be answered by the aggregated planning. By definition, aggregate planning is a process by which a company determines ideal level of capacity, production, subcontracting, inventory, stockouts and even pricing over a specific time horizon. The goal of aggregate planning is to satisfy demand while maximizing profit. Aggregate planning, as the name suggests, solve problem involving aggregate decision rather than stock keeping unit level decision. For example, aggregate planning determine the total production level in a plant for a given month, but it does so without determining the quantity of each individual SKU that will be produced. This level of detail make aggregate planning a useful tool for thinking about decision with an intermediate time frame of between roughly 3 and 18 months. In this time frame, it is too early to determine production level by SKU, but it is also generally too late to arrange for additional capacity. Therefore, aggregate planning answers the question how should a firm best utilize the facility that it currently has. The aggregate planner main objective is to identify the following operational parameter over the specific time horizon. These are production rate, workforce, overtime, machine capacity level, subcontracting, backlog and inventory on hand. An aggregate planner required the following more information to calculate the cost optimization like demand forecast, production cost, labor cost, etc. As you can see the list here. These inputs and operational parameter helps to identify the cost to serve for the given demand. Let's talk about aggregate planning strategies. A company attempt to use a combination of three costs to best meet demand. The basic trade-off involves balancing the cost of capacity, the cost of inventory and the cost of stock out to maximize profitability. Increase any one of these three allow the planner to lower the other two. So these three strategies are first chase strategy using capacity as a lever. It try to matches the production plan to the demand pattern and observe variation in demand by hiring and firing workers. During the low demand, production is cut back and workers are laid off. In case of high demand, subcontracting can be done to meet the demand. Second, time flexibility from workforce or capacity strategy using utilization as a lever. This strategy may be used if there is excess machinery capacity. That is, if machines are not used 24 hours a day or 7 days a week, in this case the workforce which means capacity is kept stable but the number of hours worked is varied over time in an effort to synchronize production with demand. Third, level strategy, using inventory as the lever. Here, we set production as a fixed rate and use inventory to absorb the variation in demand. We build and hold inventory in low season and clear out the inventory at high season. By this, we can utilize the high capacity but it comes with additional inventory carrying cost which we carried from low season to high season period. So now we know how aggregate planning can help in defining production levels, what resources are required for aggregated plan and what trade off need to be done. You can also check the inventory strategy video in the i button for more information. Kindly subscribe the channel, it gives motivation. Thank you.